Hello, this is John again. And I wanted to do is I wanted to give a six month review on my Samsung washer. Um, had it for a little over six months now, and I wanted to give my three likes and dislikes on this particular washer. So far, it's performed pretty amazingly. I'll do another review here in another six months when I have it for a year. But I wanted to cover kind of a quick six month overview of this washer and my three likes and three dislikes. Number one, let's go with the likes and dislikes to, to begin with. Number one, my first like would have to be just the ease of use. Uh, the control panel is very easy to use. Everything is all right here with the dial, the buttons. Uh, it has actual physical buttons and not touch capacitive buttons, which is really nice. Um, very simple, very easy to use. That's uh, my number one like. Number two like that I have for this washer has to be the decent size capacity. And this is an impeller design, so sorry for the glare. Uh, right now it's running in normal mode. Um, but yes, it works pretty well, has good capacity, and the washer seems to be pretty reliable. I haven't had any issues with it, so it's kind of like capacity slash reliability. And then finally, my number three like for this washer has to be the actual power and the agitation. Uh, being that it's belt drive, it actually uses an AC induction motor. Uh, which seems to be pretty powerful versus some of the DC direct drives uh, that competitors use and even within Samsung that they use. Uh, the AC induction motor seems to really churn the clothes pretty well, um, better than some of the other ones I've seen with an impeller. Um, and even though it's a belt drive, it uses a V-belt instead of a standard rid belt. The V-belt is actually a much stronger design versus a rib belt. Uh, that a lot of the other competitors use. So I do appreciate that as well. So uh, again, to sum up, my three likes would be ease of use, capacity slash reliability, and then finally uh, the sheer power of the AC induction motor with um, agitation and churning the clothes. So let me go into my three dislikes. Uh, three dislikes. Uh, number one uh, would have to be um, and this is kind of a personal thing, just trying to nitpick here, but would be kind of the plain Jane styling. I mean, it's, I mean, you can go with the next level up and I'll have like, you can get it in different styling and, and different colors and whatnot. Um, but it had to be the plain Jane styling. Uh, number two, dislike for this washer, um, will have to go to at times it can uh, go out of balance and how it corrects itself, uh, if it's on the normal cycle that it is now, it'll actually redistribute the clothes with no water in it. And sometimes that can be a little damaging to the clothes if it's trying to redistribute with no water in it. Uh, eventually we'll do that a couple times and then it'll fill the tub up with water, do an agitation again, and then it'll uh, try and spin it out. So the the um, as far as to rebalance itself, it, it could be a little bit better programmed. And then finally, number three dislike on this washer uh, would have to be uh, the noise level. Again, the, you know, being an AC induction motor, it's not as quiet as the direct drives. You do hear the motor, as you can tell right now. Um, it's fairly quiet when it's spinning, uh, but during agitation, it's, it's something that you can definitely hear in the background. It's not a very quiet washer by any means, but it's not the loudest. I've had louder, and this is definitely not the loudest washer. You can tell when it's working. How does that sound? You can tell when it's working. So anyway, just an overview of this washer. This video was going to be too long, but I wanted to give my three likes and dislikes. And so far, I've been pretty satisfied with it. Probably one of the best washers I've ever had. Um, and I went back with Samsung because I wanted to try their belt drive units. And I've been pretty satisfied so far. The times where it has gone out of balance, it's been able to correct itself. I really haven't had to correct it at all. Uh, which has been great, unlike my previous washer, which if you guys see my previous videos, uh, the GE, I had to actually manually correct because it could not correct itself, no matter what, no matter what it did, and then I'll just give an out of balance code. Uh, this one seems to do a far better job, even though it does have some issues. But uh, aside from the issues, the the positives definitely outweigh the the negatives with this washer, and I definitely recommend it for a medium sized family. You'd be more than happy and satisfied with this particular washer and the next level up. Samsung makes, seems to make a pretty good belt drive unit. 
The dryer, on the other hand, this Whirlpool dryer, I wish I could get rid of. I absolutely hate it. Downright terrible, terrible dryer. It takes four hours to dry clothes. Doesn't even do a good job in doing that. The steam cycle is horrible. Anyway, that's a whole other story for a whole other video. But this is about the Samsung. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you next time.